London, page 760. Now, as I said, the previous one, um, the lamb, is a, that was the sweetest one. Now we start to get a little bit darker. Okay? I want you to, in your mind, paint a picture of what London looks like. Would you want to go to this particular place? If they were painting this picture on their travel brochure, would this be enticing for you to go to? Look at the, the common man that's in there. Remember, this is in the heart of the Industrial Revolution. And so I told you earlier in the introduction that things aren't always that great as you know, industry you know, goes up, goes up. And so we get to see the fallout uh, of what happens to a society. London by William Blake. I wander through each chartered street near where the chartered Thames does flow and mark in every face I meet marks of weakness, marks of woe. And every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of fear, in every voice, in every band, the mind-forged manacles I hear. How the chimney sweepers cry, every blackening church appalls, and the hapless soldier's sigh runs in blood down palace walls. But most through midnight streets I hear how the youthful harlot's curse blasts the newborn infant's tear and blights with plagues the marriage hearse. London. Positive portrayal? Even if you struggled to understand every single line, did you pick out some key words to help set the tone and the mood? Um, you know, the very first stanza, weakness, marks of woe, you hear cry of every man, infants cry, talking about mind forged manacles. Oh, now the chimney sweepers cry, soldiers are sighing, there's blood running down walls, harlots, you know, prostitutes cursing in the streets, talking about plagues and, and marriage hearses. And, and that's not very sunny and cheerful and everything's, everything's swell. Everything's great. Um, it is a dark, dreary place. Okay? It is a dark, dreary place. Um, you know, these individuals, every, I wander through each chartered street, now where the chartered Thames does flow and mark in every face I meet, marks a weakness, marks a well. So as I walk down every street by the river, everybody I pass, I see this, this longing in their face. I see this weakness. I see this struggle, this defeat that everybody is going through. In every cry of man, I hear it. In every infant's crying of fear. In every voice, in every band, the mind-forged manacles I hear. So in every voice I hear, I hear these mind-forged manacles, these shackles, these chains that people are creating upon themselves. Because the work environments in these places... You know, child labor laws, those of you that have worked when you were younger, you had to follow certain rules and stuff, that's because of history. Children being abused in the workplace, going to work when they are six, seven, eight, nine, whatever, to bring home money. It was very dangerous. A lot of kids died, okay? Um, people would work for barely any money almost all day to go home, be with their family, and then do it again the next day. And so we see these mind-forged manacles, and people are crying. He sees the weaknesses on people's face. You know, how, every, how the chimney sweepers cry and every blackening church appalls and the hapless soldier's sighs runs in blood down palace walls. Just not a lot of positive imagery we have here, especially when you have blood running down palace walls. So maybe the blood of the soldiers and the wars and those revolutions, okay, and the sighing of the soldiers, we can see that reflected on the, the palace walls, the, you know, defending our nation and such. So we could look at this as London. It's rough here, but it's also rough abroad. And even abroad, it still affects us and impacts us uh, here at home. Um, and then ultimately, to, to seal the, the beautiful landscape of London, but through, but most through, excuse me, but must through midnight streets I hear how the youthful harlot's curse blasts the newborn infant's tear and blights with plagues the marriage hearse. Um, if you hear a lot of prostitutes swearing and stuff and trying to, you know, find uh, income and such, that's probably not the best situation to have in a city. You know what I mean? You really don't, that's not a great promotion for your particular city. And we have that on top of all of those other things. It's almost like a math equation. The blight and the plague of A plus B plus C plus D equals London equals this wonderful place, okay? So these dark images, okay? And we'll see more as we go um, on in, in, the, uh, in the future, okay? London.